sa inyo yung verse, Mr. Speaker, you know, na sinasabi na malaya lamang ang isang nag-asawa at mapuputol lamang yung band of marriage kapag patay na ang isa sa kanila. What if I am able to show you a particular biblical phrase? Will you withdraw your sponsorship, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor? Show it now. What is the answer, Mr. Speaker? Please show it now. If you are accepting the challenge, could you tell us where in the Bible this phrase till death do us part? Will the sponsor, Mr. Speaker, be gracious enough uh, to give me a little time because wala po palang internet dito sa loob kasi po yung aking notes nandun sa aking planner nandun sa opisina ko, pakukuha ko lang sana. But if the sponsor will agree that if I am not able to bring to him today, the particular verse in the Bible, I withdraw all my interpolation. Otherwise, if I am able to give him the complete verse in the Bible, he will withdraw his sponsorship, Mr. Speaker. I will never withdraw my sponsorship. And I am certain the distinguished gentleman cannot show any praise in the Bible quoting till death. On the but strength if, of my own. But, uh, but if the gentleman cannot show this, then most probably he should vote for the bill. I want to make sure, Mr. Speaker, nandun po sa planner ko kasi sinukulat ko na po kaninang umaga eh. I want to make sure, ayoko pong magkamali. Kaya kung papayag po kayo, magkaibigan naman po tayo eh. Bigyan nyo lang po ako ng ilang uh, minuto para makuha ko po yung aking yes, planner. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, he can get that. It should not be counted against my time. Fortunately, I was able to retrieve the, uh, the verse that I have cited. Mr. Speaker, I'm citing 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 39, which reads, and I quote, A woman is obligated to stay in her marriage as long as her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she is free to marry whomever she wants. Only it should be believer in the Lord. So till death do us part talaga. Kailangan mamatay po yung isa para lang makapag-asawa ka pa ng iba. Salamat po, Mr. Speaker. And I think my good friend is honorable enough to accept the challenge. I accepted the challenge and I think it is for him to withdraw his sponsorship. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, what the distinguished... Uh interpreter quoted is not the praise till death do us part. In fact, what he said was only with respect to the woman, not to the husband. It is here that when the husband dies, the woman can remarry. But it would be better if she does not remarry. That is completely different from till death does part, which is addressed to both the husband and the wife. But as I've said, death here could be physical cessation of life or a metaphor that love, respect, and tolerance in the marriage had already ceased. And there is no way of reconciling these spouses. Mr. Speaker, I did not know that my good friend, the sponsor, is after the exact word, till death do us part. But it was only a matter of romanticizing it, Mr. Speaker. The couple are before, or is before, the solemnizing priest or anyone who is in a position to celebrate the marriage. So until death do us part is to romanticize the impending relationship. But the biblical anchor is the same, Mr. Speaker. I hope my good friend, 
could comprehend the simple import of this particular biblical passage. It is still, till death do us part. Kahit balibalig tarin mo ito, Mr. Speaker. It cannot be interpreted in another way. I rest my, my case, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for your interpolation. And uh, Mr. Speaker, even if we accept the annotation of the distinguished uh, Marco Leta, it will not deny the fact that all Catholic countries who believe in the Bible have their own divorce laws in varying degrees of liberality. Only the Philippines and the Vatican do not have such divorce laws. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, distinguished uh, Marcoleta, for your homily. 